Assalamu alaikum students welcome back to my channel students in this video content i will discuss about the senses of the amino acids i will go through the senses process of the certain amino acids i will explain the formation of the certain amino acids the precursor molecules and the reaction steps of the senses of these amino acids that make up the protein content of the human body okay let's move on amino acid Amino acids are the organic compound that possess the amino group and the carboxyl group along with a side chain variable R group. This is the structure of the amino acid as it carries the amino group, the carboxyl group and the R variable side chain R group. There are almost 20 amino acids that make up the human body mass. 10 are essential and the 10 are non-essential amino acids. Synthesis of the amino acid. Sen amino acid synthesis is a set of the biochemical process by which the by which the various amino acids are derived from the different compounds. The ten amino acids that can be synthesized in our body are called the non-essential amino acids. Rest of the ten, which are nutritionally essential as they are derived from the diet, these are called the essential amino acids. All the 20 protein amino acids are derived from the intermediates in the glycolysis citric acid cycle or pentose phosphate pathway. Now the different ways by which the amino acids can be produced are here. Number first is the amino acids that are derived from the glycolysis process. Amino acids that are derived from the intermediates of the glycolysis, these are the serine cysteine, glycine and the alanine. The glycolysis intermediates serve as the precursor molecules for these amino acids. Serine Formation of serine Glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate which is an intermediate of the glycolysis process act as a precursor molecule for the synthesis of the serine. Here this is the reaction step. The 3 phosphoglycerate is oxidized in the phosphohydroxypyruvate and then transaminated by the glutamate into phosphoserine that upon dephosphorylation yield serine. This is the reaction step by which the intermediate 3 phosphoglycerate is converted into the serine. The formation of the serine is this one. Then the formation of the glycine. Glycine and the cysteine can be derived from the serine. Glycine can be produced from the serine by the reaction in which a methyl group is transferred to tetrahydrofolate and glycine is produced. Here this is the reaction by which the L serine is converted into the glycine. Here the methyl group is transferred to the tetrahydrofolate. Now the formation of the cysteine. As I have told you, cysteine and glycine can also be derived from the serine. Cysteine is formed from serine as it derives its carbon and nitrogen from serine. It can also be synthesized from the homocysteine. In this reaction, the homocysteine and the serine reacts to form the cystothionine. This one, the homocysteine and the serine react to form the cystothionine. And then cystothionine is subsequently from the cysteine along with the alpha keto butyrate. Here, this is the reaction step. The last one amino acid that can be formed from the intermediate of the glycolysis process is the alanine. Alanine can be can be derived by the transamination of the pyruvate. Alanine is produced by the reductive amination of the pyruvate. Here this is the reaction step, pyruvate is converted to the alanine. The amino acid is, is transformed to the alpha keto acids. The amino transferase catalyzes this reaction. This reaction is critical for the Cori cycle that is glucose alanine cycle in human beings. Now the amino acids that are derived from the TCA cycle, citric acid cycle. Certain amino acids can also be derived from the citric acid cycle intermediates. This may include the aspartate, aspartine and glutamate etc. Number first amino acid that is derived from the TCA cycle intermediate. 
एस्पार्टेट एस्पार्टेट कैन बी डिराइड फ्रॉम द ऑक्सैलोएसिटेट बाय द ट्रांस एमिनेशन रिएक्शन द रिएक्शन इज कैटालाइज्ड बाय द अमाइनो ट्रांसफेज द ऑक्सैलोएसिटेट दैट इज द इंटरमीडिएट ऑफ द टीसीए साइकिल एज द ऑक्सैलोएसिटेट कंबाइन द एसिटाइल को ए टू रन द टीसीए साइकिल दिस मॉलिक्यूल एक्ट एज द प्रीकर्सन मॉलिक्यूल फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द एस्पार्टेट so the aspartate can be derived from the intermediate of the tca cycle that is oxaloacetate this reaction is the trans amination reaction aspartine aspartine is produced from the aspartate by the amidation reaction the aspartate is converted to the aspartine here the amidation reaction glutamine is converted into the glutamate with the conversion consumption of the atp and that is transformed from the atp into the amp so this is the reaction step by which the aspartate is convert to the aspartine glutamate glutamate is derived from the alpha keto glutarate by the trans amination reaction the alpha keto glutarate is the intermediate of the tca cycle from the tca cycle the alpha keto glutarate is carried out this alpha keto glutarate is acted by the glutamate dehydrogenase enzyme this glutamate dehydrogenase catalyzes this reaction and the alpha keto glutarate is convert to the glutamate this reaction is the trans amination reaction so the alpha keto glutarate is convert to the glutamate by the catalyzation of the glutamate dehydrogenase enzyme then the glutamine glutamine is produced by the amidation of the glutamate glutamate this is the reaction step glutamate is produced by the amidation of the glutamate the glutamate is converted to the glutamine the enzyme that catalyze this reaction is the glutamine synthetase the glutamine synthetase acts on the glutamate to form the glutamine proline and arginine proline and arginine can be derived from the glutamate semi aldehyde which is formed by the reduction of the glutamate proline is produced by the cyclization of the glutamate semi aldehyde here this is the reaction step of the formation of the proline and arginine proline is produced by the cyclization of the glutamate semi aldehyde the arginine can be derived from the ornithine which is produced by the trans amination of the glutamate semi aldehyde via three reaction steps of the urea cycle this reaction is catalyzed by the arginase enzyme so this is the reaction step of the formation of the proline and the arginine number last amino acid that that is synthesized from the phenyl alanine is the tyrosine the tyrosine is synthesized by the hydroxylation of the essential amino acid that is phenyl alanine this is the reaction step by which the phenyl alanine is converted to the tyrosine the tyrosine is synthesized by the hydroxylation of the essential amino acid phenyl alanine the phenyl alanine hydroxylase enzyme catalyzes this reaction the tetrahydrobiopentene is also required in this reaction so this is the formation of the tyrosine so these are the amino acid synthesis process by which the certain amino acids are produced or derived from the certain different various compounds i hope you have the concept of the synthesis of the amino acids thank you very much